team for fighting and competing to the final buzzer. Um, you know, it's, it's a game that, that we talk about. We have a small market career. And um, we have opportunities to either pull away or opportunities when we have the lead. Um, we, can't, we can't afford to have some mistakes that we've had, whether it be um, letting shooters get loose, um, like, like what happened when Marquez hit free throws to put us up three, uh, whether it be not executing uh, offensively, not setting screens offensively, whether it be missed box outs, missed coverages. Um, we, we have to pay greater attention to the detail um, in terms of executing our game plan, specifically on defense. We're not shooting the ball extremely well right now. I'm not really worried about that. Um, but I am worried about the fact that we're letting opponents shoot over 60% from the floor in the second half. You know, we got to be better. And, and I am a, a little bit concerned um, at times that, that we're playing too passive and playing not to lose instead of playing to win. Um, that's a mindset. That's a mindset and a mindset that we're, we're gradually trying to change. Must be pretty frustrating. Um, what would you have thought if someone told you you were going to have two players with double doubles and out rebound this team and, and still lose the game? I've seen crazier numbers. I can tell you that. Um, I've seen crazier numbers. The stats, the stats don't, don't only tell part of the story. That's why, um, as an announcer, I'm a fan of analytics because you can manipulate them any way you want to. Um, but as a coach, I'm not a huge fan of analytics because you can manipulate them any way you want to. Um, <laughs> You know, but we we just, you know we gotta get more from from uh, our team collectively. You know, typically we're the our benches outscoring our opponents' benches. Tonight it, we didn't. Um, we we did get a lot of rebounds and, and we got a lot of second chance points, um, but we probably could have had more. And we gave up a lot of three point shots, which is something that they do really well. Um, and so we have to take away what the opponent does really well and make them do something they're not as comfortable doing. And I didn't feel like collectively we did that tonight. Does Missouri normally shoot that well from three? Well, they, got, they got some shooters now. I mean, <laughs> when you look at, at, at 10 and you look at, you know, Sophie Cunningham and you look at my, uh, Michaelis and, you know, they, they got some shooters. Um, and, and they stepped up and knocked down big shots at key moments. And that's what teams do. You know, Missouri's a team and a program that's learned how to win. And, uh, and now when they step on the floor, they have that competitive edge and that swag about them and they expect to win. And, and that's what we're, what we're getting and what we're trying to get and what we're learning how to get. Talk a little bit about morale, Coach. With a, with a roster that's this young, is it harder or the same or less hard just from a morale standpoint to kind of go through what y'all are going through right now? Is this bunch even more resilient than maybe they would be if they were older players? I think so. Uh, I think, um, you know, sometimes, um, you know, youth uh, and, and, and ignorance is bliss in, in terms of they, they don't know what they don't know. Right. Um, and and they've never they've never been through this before. And you look at players like Sierra Walker, and you look at players like um, Kayla Overbeck, and they get ticked off. They get ticked off because they want to win. Right. Um, you know, I think morale in, in terms of our upperclassmen, and, and you know, I, that my concern is is that we get the mentality that okay, we've seen this before, um, and so we fight that every day by co constantly talking to them about how much better we are. Um, constantly talking to them about about competing and playing to win and understanding how to win and learning how to win um, you know about about uh, what it takes about what it takes it doesn't mean it's going to happen overnight it's a process and it takes time and if you haven't experienced it consistently you, you, when it comes to gut check time you don't really know um, and so we just we have to continue to uh, to chip away um, we have to continue to as, as much as physically we're, we, we've improved exponentially. Mm -hmm. um, mentally, we have to continue to improve. Mentally, we have to continue to climb the ladder. And that's a harder struggle than physically. Sometimes does it just take that one win, though? To it, yeah, sometimes it could. I mean, it could take the one win. I think it takes, you know, the, the one time that you can make a play. Uh, you know, I felt like, you know, Rachel Bell had an opportunity for a three to go down and went in and out. Uh, you know, if that three goes down, maybe it changes the course of the game because maybe the confidence is a little bit different. Um, but you know we can't we can't afford to have our confidence be based on you know making and missing shots offensively and making plays offensively. We have to earn that right um, to win by locking in on the defensive end. And, and, and when you allow an opponent sixty four percent in the third and sixty percent in the fourth, you don't really earn the right to win. And that's where we are right now. You have to earn the right. Coach, how do you? Stop the three when you're undersized. How can you stop the three while not being eaten alive inside by their size? Well, we have to be active, aware, and we have to anticipate. 
you know, we, we have to make sure that, that we're ready to rotate on the pass instead of on the catch. Um, we have to make sure that, that we're, um, we're active and not stagnant. At times we got active and not stagnant. And then we also have to, um, to have the correct rotations. You know, sometimes we don't have our correct rotations defensively. And because of that, our second and third line rotations um, aren't in the right spots. And, and when that happens, it, it causes a little bit longer of a rotation, plus it causes some confusion. I think the other thing is communication. Can you also give us an update on Blessing? Is she in school yet, or no, is she? No, I don't have any, any more information about Blessing. No, I don't know. She's not in school, um, still working on, on, on getting back, but, but I don't really don't have any other information. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Hey, thanks, Coach. Hang in there. Thank you.